Hello beautiful friends, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be doing something super duper fun and something I am super duper excited to show you how to do in your small space garden. And that is planting out your sweet potato slips. Now, as you can see, I have these guys sitting here in some water just to make sure that I have kept the roots hydrated. But let me go on ahead and kind of show you a little bit more closely what these guys look like. So, as you can see, these guys are definitely ready to go into the ground. Now, the one thing that you do need to be mindful of when you are planting out your sweet potato slips is that you want to amend your soil really, really well before planting. So I highly recommend the GP Living Infused Soil for garden amending. We have been using it over at the garden center and we've just been loving it. And of course, it was really, really awesome to be gifted this bag of living soil to try in my own home garden space. So if you are looking for a good brand that seems to be really, really high in effective organic nutrients, go on ahead and check out GP Soils. They are on Instagram and Facebook. So you can reach out and contact them there if you are interested in learning about that. No, um, this is not a promotional video, but I'm just letting you know that this soil is amazing because I want you to succeed in growing in your small space, wherever that is. So when I find something that is working, I wanna share it with you. So I've gone on ahead and I've top dressed my garden bed here with this living soil. And let me go on ahead and show you what it looks like to plant out these sweet potato slips. It is super simple and it is a very, very productive crop that is very low maintenance and beginner friendly. And the bonus is it's gonna completely cover this trellis and it's gonna look gorgeous this summer. So let's go on ahead and get these slips into the ground. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on ahead and get you guys set up here real quickly. As you can see, like I said, we have our topsoil dressed with that really high nutrient, amazing compost from GP Soil. And all I have done here is I've dug a hole and all I'm going to do is bury the roots completely. So usually it's about a hand span down for most of them at least, well, for me, it's one of my hand spans, if that helps at all, as far as depth. And then I'm just going to pat it in, get all the air holes and air pockets out, and that's it. Now all we need to do is go on ahead and water these slips in. As you can see, I do have some garlic over here that's not going to be a problem for these guys. This is just going to act as a natural pest deterrent into the soil. So we shouldn't have any bugs hatching, laying, or making themselves at home overnight, which is going to help protect, of course, our sweet potato slips. Now, one of the most important things for you to know as a small space beginner gardener when it comes to sweet potato slips is just to make sure and start with a amazing soil blend. So I can't emphasize this enough. If you're really wanting awesome garden produce and if you're wanting to be able to grow the produce that you need, you've really got to focus on your soil health. So it goes without saying, what you put into the soil is what you're going to reap from your plants. So don't skimp on this one thing, okay? Now, that's all I've got for you on this video. I'm gonna go on ahead and I am going to link another video about companion planting in your garden space as a natural pest deterrent because this is an amazing way for you to prevent pests from eating on your crop and also so that you don't have to buy pesticides. So it's kind of like a win-win-win thing. Uh, I'll go on ahead and link that here at the end of the video and I'm going to 
down below, drop a direct link to my free, yes, it's free small space gardening guide so that you can go on ahead and grab that today. And as always guys, keep it simple, natural, and essential. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.